Hi there, Vinny from Project Frugal. $808, that's how much we've gone down in the last couple of weeks. Let's find out why. Well, there we go, $31,216.65. So looking at the numbers here, last time, well, we were negative $976. That was with $32,000 invested. So the balance was $31,024, roughly. This time we put another $1,000 in and it's gone backwards by $808 in the last couple of weeks. So Denise has put some more money into something. Let's go and check what she put some money into. Denise bought the warehouse group and the warehouse group is going to do probably quite well since it's coming up to Christmas, it's not far away. I'm sure the ads will be on TV and everything will be rosy. However, the entire portfolio has dropped. Let's go back and have a look at the chart as per sharesies and what they say. You can see this massive gap here. Let's just go and have a look at the last month, let's say. So where were we a couple of weeks ago? We'd be looking at about the 15th, 14th, 15th. Okay, it's getting close, getting close. There we go. $975.46 down and then it's just been a steady downgrade this week and then another thousand bucks so we were almost two grand under and it has just come back a bit in the last couple of days so the market is very volatile at the moment let's go and check out the share portfolio here so today has been a reasonable day it's gone up $91.69 now that doesn't make it back to break even which is rather unfortunate that we're just going to keep ticking these up um, and very much a big thank you to our person who mentioned why we were investing in Kingfish, Marlin Global and Barramundi when NAV which stands for net asset value I believe we were paying a 14% premium that was something I just didn't know I'd never heard of it before now I know so we won't be investing in those at this time considering we're potentially paying a premium price for them bad mistake on my part but it's all about learning so that's okay let's go and have a look at the dividends how they're stacking up now we'll go into the dividend summary and we'll see here for this year so far $689.23 we've got a projected $321.11 so that's going to take the 2022 total to well over a thousand dollars well actually at this stage just over a thousand dollars I'm sure there'll be more investments along the track in the next four months, which will boost that even more. So it might get up to maybe 11, 12, maybe even 1300 if we're really lucky. Probably not. Well, who knows? Let's find out. We'll find out together. Anyway, so that's good. Thousand bucks. That'll be a milestone for this particular portfolio. Back to the NZ50 charts. And you can see here the week has just been going down. Well, the last couple of weeks since the last portfolio update on this particular portfolio. Things were good. The next day, splat, down it goes, up a bit, down, up a little bit, and then down, 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 and then just a little bit of a recovery in the last couple of days. So that's cool. It's always going to go up and down. This time it happens to be going down. Never mind. The month overall is still up. We can see that low point there, 11,550, and we're up to what, 11,650. We're still majorly involved with financial services, over half the portfolio. That's going to have to change over time. Let's get that down to maybe 20 or 30%. It will take a long time, so we'll start concentrating on some of these other things here. Looking at the payment months, there is some dividends coming in on all 12 months, according to this. Now, this may not happen because, for example, turners or property for industry, which are paying out in January and May, respectively, they may pay out a little bit later or a little bit earlier and thus missing the month. But generally speaking, that's pretty accurate reflection of when these companies will pay out. Now, just because we've invested in these particular companies doesn't mean we've necessarily picked the best companies. Let us know what companies you would suggest instead, or if you agree with some of our picks and why. We are happy to take some constructive criticism at any time. Not a great result, but, you know, you just got to keep going. You just got to keep going. We're a third of the way there. Things are going to improve, I can guarantee it. I can give you my 90, well, my 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 20, my 25% guarantee that things will get better. Well, who knows? We've just got to wait and see. We've just got to keep 
dollar cost averaging carrying on. So hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know how your investment is working out for you. And we'll catch you in the next video. See you later.